Oh hey, didn't see you there. Chris Conley here, and as I discover Houston, we're going to some of the iconic eateries around the city to see why they're such an important part of the culture. We're here at Irma's today to sit down with none other than Irma Galvin and talk about what makes this place tick. Let's go check it out. This is The Con Man Cravings. How are we doing? Chris. Tony Gavin. Hey, uh, wow, what a place you have here. Appreciate Do you mind if uh, I grab you and your siblings and we chat real quick? Of course not, come on. Here at Irma's and getting to sit down with the children. Uh, how would you describe the impact of your mother and this restaurant on you and, and this community? Well, she, uh, my mom gave us an opportunity to make a living because we came from a, kind of a poor neighborhood when we, when we were younger. So she just gave us, she gave us a job actually, <laughs> yeah. to make a living. What do you think, Tony? What we do here, man, we, 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 we take care of our customers. We, we love our people. We love the community. We were here before Mid uh, Enron Midnight was, was first brought here. We've been here 32 years, and we, 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 we come and work every day. We bring, we bring it every day, just like you bring it. That's awesome. <laughs> Well, we started in 1989. We've been here 32 years. So, like he said, my mom gave us an opportunity to build a business like family, and uh, we're going to continue it on, hopefully, and God's willing to let us continue it on. But we take care of our customers because without our customers, we wouldn't be here. Beautiful. And my mom has always told me, take care of your customers because they the ones that keep us alive. That's awesome. Well, I can't wait to sit down with her and meet the woman herself. Yeah, she'll tell you. There we go. Thank you. We're, 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 we're like family here. Love it. Well, we're here at Irma's with the woman herself. Uh, thank you for having us here. Could you just let me know, there's a lot of history behind this place. Could you just tell your story and how you came to be here? Okay, I started uh, my business in 1989 uh, when my husband passed away. My husband passed away in 1982. So right after he passed away, I uh, have no money. Uh, he was going to be a doctor. He was in cancer research. And uh, he was uh, all my kind of dreams, my hopes came down after he, he was murdered. So I started my business in 1989 with four kids to support my three sons and my daughter. And it wasn't easy. I went through hard times when my husband passed away. And uh, like I said, I was, I was feeling, uh, I was on the verge of having a nervous breakdown. And what lifted me up was my kids. Uh, I was thinking uh, I had to do something. Uh, and I started the business. It wasn't easy to start a business here in 1989 because the warehouses, everybody was leaving the warehouse district. And uh, as a matter of fact, I worked at the building across from the restaurant for 30 years. And then I crossed over and opened up the business. So I'm considered like a, this is my hood. This is my neighborhood. And, and uh, I feel at home. So it wasn't easy to start a business. It was hard, but my, my drive to bring my family, you know, like back to life, having my life started after my husband was murdered, it was hard, but I am grateful that God put me on the right road in the right neighborhood. That's absolutely amazing. And, and the way that you have just such an inspiring story for for anyone uh it's it's amazing and when i look around the the restaurant and the dining room here it really feels like i'm in you know my grandma's house or i'm somewhere with family there's all there's pictures on the walls there's things that that commemorate the achievements of others you're very proud and there's a, a family atmosphere here how were you able to really translate that love for your family and your kids to this restaurant? Okay, so my mother uh, was a single parent. She taught us to work hard. And uh, so I kept 
the neighborhood and the decor in this place, which is my life. My love for this restaurant is to bring people here, and our logo is Como en su casa, just like home. This, you, you're walking into Grandma's house here with a homey feeling, and I love my customers. I, I can see that, and I can definitely feel that too. Every, every person and the smile on their face when they leave uh, and when they come down and, and the, the meals that they eat, it's not just about the meals, it's the experience. It's about being welcomed in, and you guys have definitely captured that here, and it's wonderful. Yes. You know, we have gone through families, bar mitzvahs, wedding rehearsals. We have, we've been here almost 34 years, and we've had people that have grown with their kids, people that have died, and this is like a, like a place that keeps our customers coming back. And like I said, amor, love is what we, we love to have people. That's awesome. Well, I for one am so ready to try some of this food that I've heard so much about, so why don't we do that? Okay, so let me go in the kitchen, fix a couple of plates, and then uh, we'll go from there. What do you think? Sounds good. Yeah, and I'll, bring the, I'll, I'll go in the kitchen, order the plates, and then I'll bring them out and see what y'all think. Okay, so welcome to Irma's Just Like Home. <laughs> We're serving lunch for y'all. Amazing. So, we do it everything just like home, okay? Nothing fancy. I, I can see that, yeah. but this looks yeah. looks amazing. So we have the uh, adobo carnitas and adobo sauce. It's a uh, Mexican boneless pork in the adobo sauce. Okay. Okay. You like pork? Oh, I do. Mmm. Good. So good. So very good. And then we have the mole in the boneless chicken breast in the mole sauce. Everybody loves the mole. Ha, I'm sure I'm going to love it. And in case you didn't know, uh, we did this for, shall we mention names? Yeah, go for Guy it. Guy Ferry. Yeah. For diners and dives. He loved the mole enchiladas that we did for him. And uh, how do you like it? It's so good. Now, I have to ask a question. I know that you guys don't have a menu. What's the reasoning behind it? Because that, in the atmosphere, everything here just makes it feel more like you're at home. There's no menu. No menu. Uh, the reason for no menu is because I've been to restaurants, and I know you all have before, uh, they said, can I get this instead of this? Can I get more of this? Can I, can I taste both of them? And so we let the customer, we offer the customer three or four items on the plate. So that, you know, you know, can I have this? Can I have that? And they say, no, you can't, you can't do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the reason for no menu is because that way you can order whatever you want in which way you want. Ah, okay? Beautiful. I love it. Okay, so this is a mole. And then, of course, uh, we have the uh, chile relleno. Mm. The boneless uh, with a beef. Ah. And uh, this is a Mexican uh, authentic chile poblano stuffed with beef. And uh, everybody likes it too. It looks just the display on the plate is amazing. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. And this is clean, in case you want. <laughs> this is clean. <laughs> I'm here to pamper you, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And, and of course, uh, we have the enchiladas. If anybody's a vegetarian uh, and they can't eat meat, we have the spinach enchiladas. Oh. And these are the vegetarian fresh spinach. And these are done with a green tomatillo sauce. Mm. And the queso queso. So these are uh, recipes from uh, our cooks and uh, our mother, oh, okay? Oh, yeah. So this is, uh, in case nobody eats meat, this is a wonderful option. vegetarian. A wonderful option. Okay, and I have to give you a, a soup, a taste of our charro beans. Ah, yes. So what, what goes into this? These are the charro beans, uh, the Mexican soupy beans, but they're char the charro beans, and they have uh, nopalitos, 
uh, picadillo, uh, peppers, mm. and uh, this right here. Oh, this is amazing. There's so much flavor and then the yeah. spicy. Yes. So anyway, what do you think? So everything tastes different. It does. Yeah. Everything. That, that was the first thing that I was going to say. Every single plate took me to a different place. Right. You know, there, there, there's so many flavors going on from the pork to the mole yeah. to, to the soup to the chili rellano. And the enchilada, everything has a different flavor profile and it's rich. It's rich. I honestly, I believe that by having no menu, you actually enable the person who comes to sit down to have a better experience because it doesn't matter what they what they order. Yeah. It doesn't different. matter. Everything's different and everything is is just wonderful. And another thing that I wanted to point out is we have a very tiny kitchen. We don't have a big kitchen, we have a very tiny kitchen, so we have very limited menu. Mm. So we don't have things left over. I go buy everything fresh at the market, so everything is cooked different, and we don't have a big inventory. Wow. So every, when it's gone, it's, it's gone. gone. Yes. That is amazing, thank you so much. I need to get a little bit more of this right here. Well, thank you so much for having us here today, but I have one final question. Yes. If there is something that you could tell this community that supported you this whole time, what would you say to them? Well, I have to say that I wouldn't be here without my friends and my customers. They made me here and I aim to stay in gracias. Ah, thank, thank you me. so much. You're welcome.